There comes a time, there comes, there comes a time in every man's life, or women, children, whatever, uh, some dogs, uh, where you have to take stock. You've got to sit back and really reflect and wonder, have I ever met anybody who has AIDS? But I just didn't know it. I just didn't know that the person had AIDS because it's not like, you know, uh, uh, a visual. You can't see AIDS on a person. Yeah, like a fucking a leg chopped off. You can see that. That's not a disease. Cancer, mm, the boldness. But AIDS, you can't. So AIDS is funny. This is a sketchbook. It's a book full of drawings. Mm. This is my current sketchbook. It's not finished. There are empty pages. But then there are empty pages on of in all of our lives. Some are made of paper, some are made of emotions. Uh, I cut the, the black cover off to make it a little bit indented and then put the sticker in so it's it's flat. Uh, that says Sketch 2020 in graffiti, because I'm cool. That's a G and a V for Gun Viking. Empty first page as always. This was some concept sketches for a commission. Tentacles and shit. Bunch of shit. Uh, that's that's more or less what I went with. And I circulate. It was for like an icon, so it meant made sense to have it be circular. Um... This was for that Blood Sun I did where I, I read the story and then drew pictures while I was reading the story. Designs for the kid in the story. That's a bat. They saying death as a kid because that was part of the story. Uh, some graffiti. I don't know if that's technically allowed to be shown. That might be illegal. Um, that was a, a colour scheme I used quite often when I painted graffiti many years ago. So I was trying to adapt that to be like to use in paintings, to do paintings inspired by graffiti colour schemes. So that's, you know, you see it. And then this page, I was going to paint something like that there, but never did. But I still might, you know, it's a work in progress, which is something I like to do with sketchbooks is before I start a new page, like if I know I need at least an entire page's worth of space, I'll start a new page. But if it's just a silly little doodle or a sketch or an idea or something, I'll go back and find like a space on the page, I can do it. Um, which is sort of what this is, it's just ideas rather than starting, you, you get it. That's, I think his name's Hopkins from Animal Crossing, he's like an inflatable animal and my friend hated him, so I drew him shot dead, so he's deflating because he got popped. Painting of Stevie Weeby. Acrylics, spray paint. I was quite happy with that. That was quite a quick one, like less than an hour, I think. Uh, Mr. Boynes. Some gals. This is all the same girl from her Instagram feed, you know. Obviously very rough, but that's his, his fucking sketchbook, isn't it? I do, I really do have time for people who make their sketchbooks like really nice so every page is like a finished drawing so you flip through their sketchbooks and it's just amazing 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 i love that it's cool but at the same time i really do you know sketchbooks the whole point it's a sketchbook it's not a finished artwork but make them rough um these are rough drawings of my comedian friend karen in the n well almost nude um and then i did a more finished one and taped it in, just so it was, it's a nice little insert page. And yeah, titty skull there, some dames. That was a funny one. There was like a draw this in your style thing. See, his penis is where the joystick would be. <laughs> Play me, game over, sad life with a boner. <laughs> I'm sure you can all relate. Animal Crossing. I was playing the mobile version of Animal Crossing at this point, so I was drawing lots of Animal Crossing at this point. <laughs> Look, he's saying fuck. That's funny. I like this one. 
the ducks in Animal Crossing. Uh, you got information you need to know. The ducks are possibly my favourite animals because I like their designs. I think they're cute. Fuck me, you and think something's cute. The, the manly, scary, rebellious, edgy Ewan thinks something is cute. Who'd have thought? Ultraman, bad up down, eat my fucking dick. Um, that was drawings for a commission. Uh, done on a piece of paper and then stuck into my sketchbook because why the fuck not? I actually miss the days of spending almost days and days just drawing in my sketchbook because now Everything, I tend to do it on separate bits of paper uh, or card or whatever for commissions and things. So I only really work on my sketchbook as like a an outside sort of thing. But I loved having sketchbooks and then taping things in and painting things and doing all kinds of shit in my sketchbook. Whereas, you know, this, this is quite a good spread for that, where it's all different things, Zach Ridley, a space. See, it's like a, a, a moon. And in the comic that I'm working on, uh, they're in a space station, but I decided to make the space station like a giant robot hand. So this would be a space station full of people with ships going to and from it. But then I figured what well, would be cool if it was that hand was actually part of a bigger thing. Look, that's its penis. Skull, flowers, chick. I mean, whatever. More Animal Crossing. The octopus is in Animal Crossing are quite cool as well. There's my little doodle for Hopkins that I did earlier on. Which just goes to show, that was a little doodle, and then I went back and found space. And then drew that way up. Octopus with a gun, octagon, gloctopus, I think someone said. See, I had octagon because I was I did a picture of gun viking with this guy, an octopus with a gun. And I didn't want it to be gun viking and then gun name octopus. I wanted it to be gun viking, octopus, gun. So gun viking, octagon. So you have gun on either end with the names in. Whereas Gloctopus is, is a fantastic name and I wish I thought of it, but I didn't. Um, but gun viking, Gloctopus is just to the G at the I don't know. Blood Sun, that was some drawing. This all fucking stinks, but those are quite good. Dracula, see, because he loved the book Dracula. And I often, I'll work... I always work on, not always, sometimes I work on the right hand side. I think it's just whatever's easiest at the time. I don't know why I do upside down sometimes. Whatever. Uh, Shredder, that's supposed to be, is it Mumra? From Thundercats, that's the... <laughs> yeah, Thundercats. Uh, the tattoos, tattoos can be really frustrating to draw because if you're doing a nude, you draw the body and then you've got to draw extra drawings on top of the drawing. So doing tattoos can be a bit of a pain, but I'm quite happy with how these ones came out. A couple of sort of side slash backs of bodies from reference pics. Uh, I think that's Tank Girl, these claws for these. This was a commission, some Plague Doctors. Uh, oh, rough drawings for the Blood Sun pieces I did. Him as a kid in the moonlight, uh, which I actually I think I like his is like toys are in shadow in the back. That's far better than the final one I did. Um, whatever. These were I may had paper cutouts for the Ultraman painting I did um, of monsters to make sure I got the sizes right uh, on the painting. So I traced around the cutouts. Now I put the cutouts here. There's some spray paints and. Drew, Drew, as you can see, more Blood Sun concept work. He's jumping from roof to roof. Wow. I really hate that, like, because of the energy you have when you're doing this, and it's an age old problem, but like the energy in this drawing is far better than it might have been if I did that as a final, like some of the final pieces I wasn't that happy with. But the whole point was that they were, Excuses, excuses. Here's some tits and ass. Uh, same person, obviously. Uh, titty skull, titty skull, titty skull. Oh, titty, titty skull, titty skull. Ba -dum -ba. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That was an idea for a thing. That's Doom Guy, uh, a demon. Is it Kaka Demon? Look, that's like a, a, a minotaur with a gun. 
<laughs> oh! Yes, so you can see how tiny this idea was. I've not done anything with it, but I want to. If you've seen the film Falling Down, where he goes into a... There's one part of the film. It's not the film, but one part of the film is he goes into a fast food restaurant. It's very disappointed with uh, how the food actually looks as opposed to how it uh, is made to look in photos. And so he busts out the Uzi and everyone's scared. So I was going to, like, draw or paint a, a comic book style piece of that. Just as like a poster or a print, I think that'd be quite cool. Might still do it someday. I might not. Uh, dastardly. I liked this, so I tore it out of the drawing and stuck it in. Gun Viking stuff. Uh, look, this was, uh, this was on my Instagram. I am drawing a princess. I drew a happy bee. They're drawing on the ground with chalk. Ewan, what are you drawing, Ewan? And there's a little Ewan drawing fucking dinosaur tanks and dead people. Oh, fuck off, Ewan. She's unimpressed, and I don't care. I mean, that sort of speaks for itself. That's fu fucked this. See, this line was supposed to go like this, but it's here. I don't know oh, what the fuck I did there. That's a good one. I mean, they're, they're good, but like, I'll... Cool, study. That was from a photo of a dead pigeon. Uh, I I tried to get the insides to look accurate to how the photo was. It was like bones and shit, but it looks silly here. I don't know, it looks like it's supposed to be flowers or popcorn or something. I don't know. Um, not that happy with that. 2D from Gorilla. Is it an octagon? I quite liked that one. Little red felt tip. I was drawing Bojack from memory. Uh, so you can see him there, I guess. Little gun viking. Pew, pew, pew. Little mans, my little mans. Chicks, girls, boobs. This is quite a... I was pretty happy with this one. I'd had this idea to draw this for the longest time. This is my friend who modelled for me for a day, which is very, very lovely of her. Um, and she did. I, 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 She allowed me to hold my sketchbook under her um and draw this and then that's me drawing this while drawing see and these were some uh, poses she did that i drew also and that was just sharpie that was just a quick like i liked the photo so i just quickly did a drawing of it um oh rats dead rat like a mummified kind of rat i really liked this one um I used to do similar things to this. I had a, a sketchbook somewhere. I'll see if I can find it. That was almost all like this. It was all bio drawings with like paint slapped on afterwards. Um, but it's a really cool look. And people on online seem to really like that one as well. So that's something. Look, is a doctor, he stitched a horse's head onto this girl's body and her head's there going like, ah, oh, what the fuck you doing? Oh. Uh, just a bunch of shit. Literally, I don't know. Bunny with a gun, guy, turtle, tortoise, man in the box, the Hulk, but it's got Bart's head, the Hulk, giant, the Hulk, with a house. Uh, that was my Copic marker test, because I'd never used them before, and I got some, and so I drew with them, and that's what I drew with them. And then this was my idea, where I was doodling quick, what do I draw with? Copic markers and I drew a pig and I was like, oh, I'll put them on his... Um, these were Pokemon Fusions. It's coming apart. Selfie hand. That's. I was going to do a post like... This is, is almost like the new Adam and God hands in that painting. Like the selfie hand. Um, I might still do that because I think Instagram will be like, oh my god, it's so deep. <laughs> when in actuality it's just a drawing of a hand. Pokemon Fusions. Um, I mean, I won't point out which ones they all are. You can probably tell. Uh, but yeah, I did a video with a little zine uh, where I drew... I made a zine, drew some Pokemon Fusions. There's Animal Crossing again. Cute. Uh, more Pokemon Fusions. I quite liked the, the blue. The blue, blue. Because I used just the light blue for, you know, the light blue ballpoint pen just to sketch them out. But then I thought, well, I'll make it a bit more. So I've got a few blue markers and things. And I quite like it. It's a nice sort of look. I might do more with that. I might not. But I might. I like the Geodude uh, ditto. 
That's quite a funny one. The Charizard Nidoran. It's pretty funny too. I, I like any of them that are crossed with Magnemite. So as the base Pokemon you have whatever, and then Magnemite, because then you get stuff like this. There's Articuno, Psyduck, there was another one, yeah, Pinsir. Because they just become this weird Cyclops Pokemon. I really like that. Uh, that's pasted on the Spider-Man cutout and pasted on from a rough drawing because I liked that. I might do something in the background, might not. This is a dear, dear, dear friend of mine um, in a red dress. And I drew the red dress, but I made it extra long because... Why the fuck wouldn't I? That's drawing uh, ideas for a robot Cubone drawing I did. Fart boys. Banging. Pop, pop. Word. Um... These were drawings based on little sculptures I saw. I was just testing out a, a pen, a three-coloured pen I had. It turns out, I think it's more of a gel pen than a ballpoint pen. Um, I'm not that happy with it, but it was something. Uh, an Animal Crossing whore. A monkey. Little bits of graffiti and stuff. <clears throat> this is like pen tests where I'm about to draw something and I quickly make sure the ink's coming out. Because one thing I cannot stand is when you go to draw and no ink comes out on the first couple of, of, of runs. So you go, right, cool, lines. <gasps> oh, nothing's come out, so now I have to go over these lines, but I'll fuck it up. So get your ink going and then get the drawing. Um, and then this is like I'm sat thinking of something to draw or watching something, not even paying attention, like automatic drawing, where it's just like phone doodles, where you're on the phone just doodling and this comes out. I quite like it, to be honest. Witchy! That was uh, based on a drawing by this friend from like their childhood, or maybe it was just a bad drawing. It wasn't a bad drawing, it was just... Ooh, so I redrew it for fun. Some Dread Galactus. Uh, this was just a test, just so I was aware on the inside of roughly what Galactus looks like and where the colours go and whatnot. I, I quite like the drawing though, to be honest. It's obviously just copied from like a Kirby drawing, but... Pretty cool. Some stuff. Uh, I think this was for like a an inking tutorial-ish uh, video. Beavis. Uh, Cornholio. This was for my cross-hatching tutorial. And this was, it was drawn in, in marker pen, so it bled through to the other side. So I traced it and then filled it in. I really quite like that. That pink, nice, sexy, muscly body. Practicing some flowers, because they were for a commission, but how often do I fucking draw flowers? So I had to get a little bit of practice in there. Practicing my signature, I guess. Dread! I quite like that dread. Um, I think that might be one of the better dreads I've drawn. Very, very square, angular and shit, but I quite like like that. I might put a masking tape frame around it and then ink all inside the frame and then take the mask. I don't know, I might not. Noses! I, really, I love these noses, and it fucking kills me when girls with these noses get nose jobs, and then their nose is just like a smooth, like downward curve. And it's just congratulations, you look like fucking everyone else now. You're boring. These they're so gorgeous. I don't know why you'd destroy that. And it's literally destroying it. Getting a doctor to fucking smash it to pieces and carve it up and sew you back together so you can look what normal and pretty like fuck you these things are amazing love those noses man if you've got a nose like that and you're thinking about changing it fuck you don't stop being a fucking idiot um this stinks but it was just a bit of fun i mean it doesn't actually stink but it's not that bad it's not my best work it was really really quickly painted but um, I was just practicing drawing dread. I think I was working on a dread commission, so I was like, I need dread in my hands. I need my hands to get used to drawing dread. So I was drawing. Most of these are like copied straight out of a comic. Um, obviously, these ones, not these ones. You can tell. Um, these ones were drawn out of my head, though. I quite like this. This is. I'm pretty happy with that. And these are. Uh, mm, that's kind of cool. That's a commission. Picle, Spanish. I think. Uh, the Zack Ridley crew dressed as pirates, maybe you'll see that come up at some point. Nifty little flintlock pistol. Uh, Joker, for my Joker commission I did. This is, again, cut out of the rough drawing and pasted into the book. 
so you can hear where it has a lip. Uh, I mean, the painting exists. That was uh, observational. I did for a fucking podcast or whatever. Mm, mm, mm. Quite very happy with this one. Space pirates. Alien space pirates. Patrons of a space pirate bar or something. That's cool. Um, I like the colours. I think that's what I wanted to do with this was just play with colours a little bit. Because I get very, like... Pink for skin, blue for this, purple for that. But it's cool to be like, wow, well, pink and blue and red and green and uh, whatever. Even then, it's not like these are experimental. All these colours, they're pretty mild. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Toxic Avenger, I was getting used to drawing him for a commission. I quite like the zombie, that's quite cool. That's Homer, uh, whatever. Uh, I cut accidentally, I was going to draw do these in green, did this one and realised it ruined this drawing. And I really liked this drawing, but now it's fucked because of that. Um, Aku, is that his name? I didn't intend to, but it looks like he's looking at her tits. So that's funny, that's a guy. That's a bootleg toy I have, uh, so I drew it. I was gonna draw it, this was the idea, to draw it, but like with, like, good, good. To draw the really shitty toy, but with a really realistic looking lion, uh, tiger's head. I said lion, tiger's head. I still might, I might not. Again, another one of those gorgeous noses. Some shit. Called lighting on that one. That's why I drew that, because the pick had lighting, so I did the lighting. And that's just a gorgeous girl who I'm friends with on Instagram, so I drew her. Goblins! We love the goblins. <clears throat> All these knives are drawn, I Google imaged stone knife. Because um, I figured goblins would have like stone weapons. Um, so these are observational drawings. Quite like them, they're quite cool. Like this one had like a, I think it was like a bone handle or something. That's quite cool. That's uh, based on Daredevil's black outfit with the ropes. Is it Muay Thai or whatever? Goblin with a gun. I did my little sci-fi goblin comic. Cool, the skull stinks. Goblins for my... Goblin, a series of goblin drawings where it's one goblin four times, but like throughout his adventurous life. Uh, it's quite a cool spread of just doodle, just rough doodles that you spend a bit of time shading. Stitch. Cool, 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 cool. There's a kangaroo hugging a person. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, that was for the commission I did of the guy and his cat, and I made the cat big, but it looks like a kangaroo. Uh, hamster. Yellow King. Have you seen the first season of True Detective? It's really good. That's the Yellow King, the King in Yellow or whatever. Eevee pasted on. Um, that was for a commission. That was a thing for a thing. That's. I was pretty happy with this one. Pretty happy with that one. That's good. Uh, I like flowers in her hair. Didn't. I didn't pay too much attention to them, but like just enough to like. Pretty happy with that. Very happy with that. All the same person. Very good. Very, very good. Very happy to be able to draw those. Uh, more goblins. Yeah, my space goblin, Goblinski. I think uh, I think it was sort of, it's not been decided that his name's Goblinski, but I think I called him Goblinski just because, like a Russian USSR space goblin. Um, and a couple of other people mentioned the name, so I think it's just sort of stuck now. I really like this, this laser blast. I like this little guy as well. Um, this laser blaster, I think I did a really good job here. So I was destroying guns, but then the angle and everything, I don't know. I liked it. <sighs> Hands, studies, whatever. What the fuck is this one here? Jesus. Uh, swamp Thing. Never drawn him in my life, but then someone commissioned me to do a painting of him. So I figured it warrants a little bit of practice, don't it? So I did it. Mr. Handface. Oh, hello, Mr. Handy Handface. What a do. Oh, cute little Goblinski there. Uh, so this, these were all literally just straight copies from, you know, Google image swamp thing. I really like this one. And I'd be happy to say this is my own drawing, but it's not. It's a copy of a, an actual drawing. And then coming up with the pose for the actual painting. Space ninjas, they'll come up at some point. It's my fart boys. Where's my... Did that recently, fart boys. Uh, and then that's the cat one I did, wherever that is. K 
cat suit guys. I used to draw these all the time, like a guy in a cat suit. I used to paint them in graffiti a lot as well, like 15 or more years ago. That was some good shit. This was Sketch Turner from the, the Sega Mega Drive game Comic Zone and his superhero alter ego. Um, very 90s. Uh, I might finish this at some point because it could look quite cool. I might not. And I don't know why I used ink here rather than like ballpoint pen, but pretty happy with it. I mean, it's all right. My NSFW hour, rather NSFW little like exquisite corpse sketches that became other things. Rough thumbnails for a whole bunch of stuff. I think this is for my slaughter pit null zombie little doodles. Um, oh, hyenas. They were in a podcast where I was drawing hyena because I was doing gnolls, which are hyena monsters. Um, a Hulk hand that was in a podcast and then I started colouring it in and my pen ran out. So dwarves, friend, guy, slot pit gnoll zombie, dog penis. Oh, that's a good one. I've, I was very happy with this. Very, very happy with that. Um, I mean, there's a video of that somewhere. Oral. <laughs> That, I was happy with that. That was quite a cool piece. Knolls, practicing drawing knolls. Because I do still, I will get to the slaughter bit knolls zombie drawing proper. These are, I just, I'm more worried about just how, like where to put the different parts of it. So that's kind of what this is, just figuring out, t you know, three or four arms, two heads, bodies, what goes where, you know. This was for a podcast. And that's that. That's a good place to leave it. I mean, I which way? I think I actually normally, if I have to draw a body upside down, I'll I'll draw the body like I'll turn it upside down, draw the body the right way up, and then turn it and draw. But this one I actually drew upside down. I drew it as you see it here, so I was really happy with that because it's a difficult thing to do to get proportions and stuff. Um, I think I turned it for this. For the rest of it, it was all. As you see. Anyway, that's been, yeah, leave it there because that's it. That's my current sketchbook 2020. Uh, it's not all bad. I mean, it is, you know, but uh, drawings are fun. <laughs>